Hi, I'm Shagun. I'm a correspondent with Down to Earth and today we're going to talk about summer cyclones. A cyclonic storm called Mocha is likely to form in the southeast bay of Bengal between 7 to 9th May. Usually, October and November constitute the peak cyclone season for India. Over the last few years, the Bay of Bengal has been seeing summer cyclones. So far, there is no forecast regarding Mocha's landfall over India's coast. This is because predicting the path of summer cyclones is very difficult. Slow-moving cyclones can change paths, recurve or even dissipate without reaching the land. With warming sea temperatures, cyclones can also intensify extremely rapidly, exceeding the forecast time frame. According to IMD Director General Mrityunjay Mahapatra, cyclogenesis is maximum in May. The details of Cyclone Mocha's path and intensity will be provided after the low pressure area is formed around 7th May 2023. Some of the other recent summer cyclones that hit India include Cyclone Fani. Not only the worst cyclone to hit Orissa in this century, it was also the longest-lived cyclone in the Bay of Bengal ever observed. It had formed in April, which is the pre-monsoon season. Super Cyclone Amphan, which made landfall near Diga in West Bengal, ravaged almost the entirety of South Bengal, including Kolkata. It was also the costliest tropical cyclone on record in the North Indian Ocean. The economic losses in India mounted to US dollar 14 billion according to the World Meteorological Organization. Marine heat waves are likely to have helped intensify the cyclone from category 1, that is cyclonic storm, to category 5, which is super cyclone, in less than 36 hours. Cyclone Nisarga It was the strongest tropical cyclone to strike the Maharashtra coast in June since 1891. Mumbai bore the brunt of it along with some parts of Madhya Pradesh. Cyclone Yas It devastated several parts of West Bengal and impacted nearly 10 million people. Coastal areas experienced squalls up to 100 km apart from large-scale flooding. Cyclone Tokte left a trail of destruction along Gujarat, Saharashtra, affecting four regions on the country's western coast. Those are Maharashtra, Saharashtra, Kutch and southern parts of Rajasthan. Cyclone Ashini Ashini had formed on May 7 in the Bay of Bengal and dissipated by May 12. It had pulled the monsoon winds into the Andaman Sea but did not pull any further. Very heavy rain was reported in Kerala, Andhra Pradesh and Orisha. Considering the impacts of cyclones over the last few years, Orisha's Chief Minister Naveen Patnayak held a meeting earlier this month to audit the state's preparedness for MOCA. The CM specially urged the NDRF, ODRAF and fire services to be prepared. To know more about the latest news on science, technology and climate change, head to the Down to Earth channel linked in the description.